Hello friends, welcome to my very first vlog. In the lockdown, I've been doing some walking and I thought, well, why not try and do a video log? Today we're going to go into Staley Bridge and go to Walker Wood Reservoir, around to, up to the Mosley, then back down to the Huddersfield uh, Narrow Canal. It's a very interesting walk, it's quite pleasant and it's about 7.3 miles. So let's go and see what it's like. So here we are at the beginning of our walk and on my left here you can see the river Tyne. So we're in Staley Bridge, we have a canal running parallel to it. Uh, this area like Hyde, Tame, uh, Ashton, Staley Bridge, they are mostly they all come under the area called Tameside obviously because of the river Tame. Along the parallel to the river is the actual canal that we're going to walk on so let's go over there. So right, we are now going to start our walk. So with the, on this walk, I got my wife here, Dipti. Say hello, Dipti. Hi. Right. <laughs> so this is a canal. As you can see, it's a really nice canal. Uh, we start from this lock. Let's have a look at this lock first. This is where, because the canal is actually going downhill, we actually they step it down using these locks. So here's an idea of the map, where we are at the moment, Gothal. Uh, it's a heritage walk, uh, so let's go and see. Initially we're going to start walking for a little while, uh, then we're going to come off the canal, then go towards the Walker Wood Reservoir. So let's go make our way there. Along the walk we'll probably see some geese and ducks and things, which will be nice. Uh, but at the moment we're still more in the centre of the uh, this town, uh, Staley Bridge. But as we come out of Staley Bridge, uh, it gets much more beautiful and rural rather than industrialised. We're just going under a massive car park uh, of Aldis and then we're going to go under the, another car park for Tesco's. But it's a lovely place for a Sunday walk. Here we are at the bottom of one of the locks <coughs> near the Tesco. Uh, you can see it's quite high up, going up the steps to the Tesco car park and going across the lock. Hopefully we might see some ducks, birds, geese along there because there's always gathering around here. People feed their geese here and ducks. And they actually come and feed from your hand. Hello ducks. Nice day. There you go. These are just following us, expecting some food. Unfortunately, we haven't brought any. And most people feed these ducks uh, bread, but it's not really healthy for them, so we try not to feed them anything. Um, it's really not healthy to feed ducks bread because there's no nutrition in there. So here we are, we're going to come off the canal here and what we're going to do is go over to the reservoir, which is a bit of a walk, uh, but then we're going to come back down the canal from straight to our head. Straight to our head. The, the canal really goes for miles and this way it goes for at least another about 14-15 miles. So we're going to come off here and go on to go to make our way to the reservoir and we'll come back again along that route again. So 
So this walk we're going on now, this path, is what <coughs> is known as the Yellow Brick Road. So we are now going to walk on the Yellow Brick Road. You never know, maybe we might find the Emerald City and Wizard of Oz. So this is the Yellow Brick Road. As you can see, it's not very yellow anymore. It used to be at one point, but obviously people walking on there, it's not left yellow. But it's a nice stretch of a road for good exercise, uh, for joggers, bikers, everyone. We're going to get here, off the path, and get onto a road now, uh, on the Brushes Road, on the way to the reservoir. So we're going on to the Grove Road, this will eventually lead on to the Brushes Road. The area we're in is called the Brushes, uh, in Stary Bridge. And as you can see, it's a very popular road for people walking. So we just come off the uh, Grove Road and going on to Walker Grove Nature Trail. Uh, this will lead us to the reservoir so let's go to the reservoir up there is a heritage hike but that's another walk for another day but maybe one day i'll go up there and have a look at that one too seems pretty high Let's go back to my road, to the reservoir. So we come to the end of this little bit of trail. And you can see it's a Taylor Beach Country Park. Several routes to the reservoir. But we're going to take the road, uh, which is probably less muddier. So let's go to the road. And this is the Brushes Road. So the Grover Road, through the trail meets the Brushes Road, which then goes to the reservoir. Here we are, end of the trail end of uh, Brushes Road at the reservoir we're now approaching hope it's all worth it but just being here looking around so scenic away from hustle and bustle of everyday traffic in the city there is this nice calm walker walkerwood reservoir. Real peaceful, amazing. Can't believe that this is a very short walk from our house. In the distance you can hear the birds. Listen carefully. Nice, cool, slightly grey day, but otherwise it would be too warm for a walk.
so that was the reservoir we are now going to make our way over to Mosley and on this trail oh, and big puddles of water it's a bit muddy because of the rain and but this is England so and the northwest So let's see how far we go to get on this trail over to Motley, then join the Huddersfield Canal. She's on top of the world. We're about 1,000 feet high above sea level. This is all farmland and stables going past this magnificent house. We got some chickens at the local farm. Dipti, say hello. It's a very tiring walk. It's not for beginners, definitely. But it's a very good walk. So we just climbed about 1300 feet and we are now descending and we should be going into Mosley very sure soon but still it's a couple of miles away Mosley it's not that close but we are now in Mosley and we are joining the canal, Huddersfield Canal, and there's Dipti up there. She's, she's taking a ride home, so Susha is coming to pick her up, and I shall see her later. See you later. Okay. Right. So this is the Huddersfield Canal, and it's roughly another about three to four miles from here, back to Staley Bridge. At one time, along this canal, there used to be all the factories. So this canal was actually used to take all the raw materials to and from the factory. And this, there used to be very narrow boats. It's called, that's why it's called a narrow canal. There used to be narrow boats. But they didn't have engines. They used to be pulled by a horse. So this path I'm walking on, is where the horse would walk and pull the boats along here, taking raw material and finished products to and from the factories. The north here was known for its cotton, so this was an ideal way. This built, these were actually an ideal way, or these were built for the actual transporting material. <laughs> I've got this dog following me now. <laughs> so I think I'm going to take this one home. Come on, say hello. <laughs> yep, I'll go. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm not going too fast for you. <laughs> Alright, let's slow down. Are you coming? Come on, come on. You're not coming? Sorry. You're confused now? Okay. <laughs> because these canals are quite high up 
where we are from compared to the Staley Bridge in Mosley. Uh, in order to drop the boat, we have these wonderful locks to lower the boat. So they'll tie the boat up here, open up this gate manually, pushing it. Then so the boat would come in here, close that gate, the water fills up in here again, or rather the water is already full in this one, so the boat will come here, the gate will be closed, they will tie the boat here again, and slow, and then they open this gate here. So the boat will then lower itself gently and go down a different level. And every so often there are the locks to bring down the boat to that low level so it's easier. And then again they will tie up with the horses. And the dogs caught me up again. <laughs> Come on, pal. <laughs> now he's confused. <laughs> Actually, Benny, so, we are now going to enter a tunnel, and it's very dark, so it gets dark and darker as we go for and It's a very long tunnel. Here we are. We are now emerging from the tunnel. Yeah, light. There we go. That was awesome. And we're back out of the tunnel into the daylight. Absolutely amazing. But I'm now approaching the end of my walk back to where uh, in Surrey Bridge near Tesco's as you can see so this should be roughly 7.3 miles so here we are just finishing the walk mine should capture the end and there you have it so hope you enjoyed this and hopefully see you soon <laughs>